Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another room building video. On today's quick video we're going to be taking a look at a basement style greenhouse. Without further ado, Mr Editor would you kindly cue that intro? So ladies and gentlemen, as we get started with the build, the first things first is to build this nice little square at the top and then that allows us to actually get to the ground level and start building the shape itself. So for this build we're going to use a nice hexagon here and wanted to try and do something a little bit different and that's where the basement greenhouse came from. I've never really seen a basement greenhouse before so wanted to try something a little bit different. Now I'm just going to go and adjust the size of this top square here. This is only because you don't actually technically need this area. I just keep it because I think it breaks the lighting engine if you get rid of it. At least it does on my game. You end up with this really weird fake non-natural light so it's safer for me to keep the lighting engine as it is. Now speaking of lighting, uh, naturally for something like this the only lights I thought that were perfectly fitting were these hanging spheres, again in this nice green and these are going to complement really great against the green wallpaper we're now putting on the build and then with that light wood floor you end up with a really bright looking room without too many lights it's not intrusive amount of lights speaking of intrusive amount of lights so we are going to get a few more because what i'm going to do is put in these light curtain areas again these really help make the room that little bit brighter which it's not a dark room overall but i think these touches all really really help and do this build a massive favor now because it's a greenhouse naturally we need some plants so on the wall there we've got a few of those modern style wall baskets and then we've got that nice hanging basket then as we move around we've got the nice bamboo shoots and then in the centre we've even got a radio so the reason why that's there or the stereo at least is because when I think of gardening the first thing I would do is put headphones in so I figured well why not why don't your sims enjoy a little bit of music while they enjoy the garden. Now decoration wise, start it off with the rug and then lay a different rug on top for a nice two rug effect. Actually works really well. And another thing that works well is this wooden table with these amazing uh, watering can plants. And then that centerpiece is actually a plant inside of a jug. And again, I think that's a really, really nice touch. On the rug there we place in the centre a nice stick art piece and then two pots either side. Both the same pot just with a different colour scheme going on couple of cheats going on now first one is bb.moveobjects to enable the move object cheat followed by the debug menu and the debug menu is on for literally that picture and that picture alone now in my eyes i see that as kind of a plant cell i could be wrong but i just really like that and given the theme we're going with with the green in it it just seemed to fit perfectly now speaking of lights extra lights at least we've got these mirrors running around the back and again these really help brighten up so these will be on both sides at the back of the build and again just add that extra little bit of light and i do love mirrors the mirror engine in the sims 4 given the sims 4 faults at time is stunning i love the mirrors and i think they're one of my favorite bits now ladies and gentlemen if you have liked this particular build Along with all my others, don't forget to give this video a like and consider getting subscribed so you don't miss a single one of my series, the trailers of which are on your screen at the moment. But, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out, stay awesome, and I will see you in the next video.